South Africa's police and intelligence services failed to anticipate, prevent and disrupt days of arson and looting last year in which more than 300 people died. That conclusion came from a report commissioned by President Cyril Ramaphosa and released on Monday. The violence had been triggered by the jailing of former President Jacob Zuma for contempt of court and was fanned by anger over persistent poverty and inequality nearly three decades after the end of apartheid. Now from the indictment, am I correct? Soldiers were deployed to restore calm as shops were ransacked and key infrastructure targeted. Around 50 billion rand or 32 billion dollars of damage was caused by one estimate. The report analysed the government's preparedness and response. It described how a combination of inadequate training and poorly equipped stations resulted in police being overwhelmed. The experts also said the executive branch of government, comprising the president and his cabinet of ministers, carries some of the blame and must take responsibility for its lapse of leadership. The report's authors said they had been told several times that factional battles within the African National Congress had become a serious source of instability for the country. Ramaphosa and Zuma are from opposing factions in the ANC. The president is expected to say on Thursday what action the government will take in response to the report.